wakurugenzi <laughs> my man yo yo man kurugenzi mini swords episode 4 na kama kaa ukiona mkurugenzi amepiga orange you just know it's time for some orange juice <laughs> na leo kwa nini nyu nipenda pengine ni juu mimi ndio gashungwa <laughs> Ya joke nimepiga mara mbili I expected a better reaction but since mmekata ni sawa tu wacha tuingie katika hii kitu lakini kabla tuingie ningependa tu kusema ya kwamba kuwatch episode zangu kama hauja subscribe una risk kuanguka kwa choo ya city council face first That said let's roll Wadau around mid 2000s kuna kijana alikuwa amesumbua hii town kweli kweli e, sababu hatutaki kuchoma wacha tumuite Scarface Scarface alikuwa one of the most wanted gangsters around yani alikuwa amechachisha Nairobi kuruka Scarface alikuwa ngori mpaka ushago kwao butere watu walikuwa wanajua huu jamaa pale Nairobi anafanya majambos at some point akaenda mazishi kule E, wakafanya mambo yao ya mazishi nini unajua familia lazima mkutane mpige story nyanya yake akamuita kando akamwambia akimjukuu kitu ndani yangu inaniambia akiwacha tu hii kazi unafanya sababu kila wakati unatoa mtu mwingine machozi itakurudia lakini ma uncle zake ni kina nani sababu kila wakati skafe sakienda ushago anawalambisha ka kitu ma uncle walimuita kando akamwambia wachana na shosho shosho anajua nini wewe tambariza eh hey, hii maisha inaga take two wewe ile maisha umepewa wewe ishi to the fullest kula pesa unaleta hapa pia tunanyonya posa kidogo kwani iko nini <laughs> so by the time wanatoka mazishi kule jamaa alikuwa shajiambia kama niko na blessings za my uncles ah mimi niko sawa twende tuchachishe pale Nairobi life ilikuwa tu imemkubali deadly scarfes alikuwa na wife lakini bado alikuwa na clande kwa storia Scott Storch nilisema mazee ikifika wakati Klande anasikizana na wife jua uko na pesa. Pesa inafanyaga watu wawakosani by the way kaeni tu mkijua. So yani ilikuwa ni it's no secret. Eh hey, Klande mpaka kiboweka anapigia wife anamuuliza umeshindaje kwako unapika nini nione kama nitapitia. Mm, walikuwa wanaishi in harmony. Ikafika wakati bana wakapanga bonge la mradi. In fact, Scarface alikuwa amejiambia hii mradi nataka in elevate to the next level. Nataka tupige mradi safi, never been done before in this Nairobi. Tunataka to take a whole building. So Scarface akiwa na kikosi yake wakapanga mambo saa sawa, kila kitu ikakuwa yes, yani smooth. Mtu ambaye alikuwa anasaidia kufanikisha hii mradi ilikuwa ni insider kwa ile building ambayo walikuwa wanaenda kuteka. Huyu inside alikuwa na inside information ya kila kitu ambayo inafanyika pale anajua ni biashara gani zinafunga saa ngapi ni biashara gani zinaenda 24 hours ni biashara gani zinakuaga cash heavy ni biashara gani ambazo zinamezeshea sababu huko ukiingia inaweza leta ngori alikuwa na kila kitu on paper so akakutana na akina Scarface na kikosi yake akakaa chini nao na akawapeleka na mutaratara vile inavyofaa very importantly kwa him radi ilikuwa ya kwamba wakati Scarface na kikosi yake wameingia ndani the very first people wanafaa wawekwe sawa sawa ni watu wa security sababu watu wa security walikuwa na panic button hiyo panic button wakifinya tu namna this authorities wanaingia pale in no time so wakati hao majamaa walikuwa wanafaa kuingia pale ndani first order of business ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha our security people wametolewa hapo as far away as possible from that panic button hiyo ikakuwa iko very clear wakapatiwa ratiba na orodha ya zile maduka wanafaa waingie plan sasa ilikuwa ni kuingia ndani take care of security na kwenda kwa kila biashara kila biashara okota 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 hai siku ya kutambariza ikawasili Eh wakangoja giza ikaingia sasa wale wakufunga wakafunga 
wale ambao wanakaa hapo wakikesha ambao sio threat sana wanajua ratiba yao tuko na tunaingia pale wale wamebakishwa kazini tunawachukua tunawafungia kwa choo simu zao zote tunabeba nini tunaingia kwa masafe zao huko na makash register na what not tunabeba kubeba like pale walikuwa wameshapiga hesabu yao wakajua tukitoka kwa hiyo building by the time tunamalizana hatuwezi kosa takriban milioni kadhaa haya siku ikawasili wakaambiwa mpaka wale askari ambao watakuwa pale ni kina nani e, kazi yao ni kuingia na kutambariza na kutoka as fast as possible makosa ya kwanza akina scarfes walifanya hawakuwa very keen ku counter check ile list ya wale maaskari e, na the actual soldiers e, watchmen on the ground hao waliingia wakaenda pale kwa ile base uh, masker na masoja wanakaa pale wakawabundle wote wakawachukua wakaenda wakawafungia mahali na kaa kama kastoo mahali masoja wakikuja kazi uaga wanaenda kuchange hapo wakawafungia pale wakawapiga tyrods inaitwa tyrods ama inaitwa nini ile kitu ya zzz e, wakafunga nao za saa simu zao zikachukuliwa zote hawana any form of communication any means of communication wakiwa pale ndani ya store makosa ni kwamba wale ambao walikuwa rounded up walikuwa a uh, minus one. sababu one of them alikuwa amegonga glasi tatu ya strungi kitu ikamwambia gadhe hii blada inatufanyisha mama mama 1212 tafuta urino iko karibu uende uingie mmoja wao akatoka hivi kwenda kujisaidia akina scarfs wakaingia literally seconds after huyu ameshatoka So wakati watu wanabanduliwa wanaingizwa kwa masto huko kuna chacha huko chini mjamaa huko kwa urino anaimba mukangala hajui ni nini ina happen huko nje akamaliza shughuli yake akanawa mkono sawa sawa wakati anatoka from the corner of his eye ndio aka discover moja wa kikosi ya kina scarfs ameshika soja na nguvu anamtoa pale kwa ile store anataka ampeleke amuonyeshe vitu mbili tatu. Sijui ni vitu gani hizo alikuwa anahitaji usaidizi kutoka kwa huyu askari but vile huyu urinal aliona huyu ameshikwa alijijazia mambo haiko sawa. So akaingia yeye anajua building vizuri. Akakula machuo machuo huko ndani akaenda akajificha. Yeye ako na mpaka simu yake. Mambo wale walikuwa wamepanga vizuri sana inaenda kupanguliwa na mtu ametoka urinal. Akapiga simu kwa kampuni pale kampuni ambayo imewaajiri the security company he was working for akawaambia ni aje magadhe hapa siko sure lakini naona ni kama watu wametekwa kwa ile building ambayo mumeni assign ifanye kazi so pigeni simu hapo muone kama kuna security watashika security wasiposhika jueni kumechacha ju lazima kukuwe na mtu kwa desk hapo hata kuende namna gani lazima kukuwe na mtu hapo so mkiwa namna call na ishikwi jueni ni no so security company waka call pale simu inalia tu inalia tu haishikwi inalia haishikwi at some point waka call tena one of the gangsters akaenda akaitoa kwa hook akaiweka kando hiyo wa down ndio blue ticks za hiyo enzi hiyo wa down ndio kublokiwa ya hiyo enzi e, ulikuwa unatoa handset unaiweka kando hapo umekula block gasia anyway eh Security company waka discover my friend wa urinal aja tucheza hapa eh, naona ni kama watu wanatekwa so very fast waka relay information kwa maaskari very fast ni aje kuna building ambayo waga tunachunga iko town mahali fulani kimbieni pale tuna suspect wametekwa eh at that particular time mas watu wanatambarizwa ndani ya buildings eh hey, nini inachukuliwa hapa nini inachukuliwa pale nini inachukuliwa pale wakiwa katika harakati wanasikia siren zinakuja zinakuja kwa mbona wanajiuliza nani kwani kuna panic button nyingine hatujaona nini wakarudi mpaka chini pale kwa store wakafungulia wale masoja wakapata masoja vile wamefungwa wako hivyo hivyo hakuna mtu ako na dalili ya simu nothing wakawauliza ni nani ameambia askari mumetekwa hata hao wana habari ndio kidogo kidogo wakapiga hesabu ya haraka haraka wakongoja mko wangapi 1 2 3 4 5 niangalie ile list tulitumiwa wewe unaitwa nani na wewe na wewe na wewe 
huyu wepukulu wako wapi? Wapi huyu wepukulu? Kuna wepukulu sioni hapa ako wapi? Eh hey, aki hati juu alienda tu kujisaidia nyinyi mkatubeba atujui ameenda wapi ayayayaya ikahita kina scarface ngori bin ngori com the building com the building kabla wa makarao afike wajue huyo mwenye na relay my information yuko wapi ah wepukulu at this point ashajua ameingia chini ya printer mali before wampate huko ni kesho kutwa akisikia tu sauti yote ana relay information ana relay information ana relay information akina scarface ikafika mahali wakaona uongo mbaya hapa hata tukimanage kutoka na hizi vitu tunatoka kwa mlango gani like makarao washafika wako hapa nje wamesha surround kila mahali hakuna mahali tunaenda so wakaamua wachakatambe ah imekuwa long tangu tu, tuingie dance kwani iko nini so wale makarao pale nje wakajipanga saa sawa huko ndani ya kina scarface wanajipanga saa sawa wakaanza kupiga marisasi wakiwa ndani ndio e, kama makarao alikuwa anapanga kitu kwanza waogope he 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 dakika hiyo hiyo vijana wa roiro wakaitwa si mnawajua reke skoda wanaga dakika mbili wale wale wakiingia ni kumaliza wakafikishwa town hapo teketeke watu sasa hiyo wakina scarface wamejifungia kwa building sahihi kama wana hawa imepita reke wamekuja sasa ni kutaka tu kujua he wapi ndio wapi wapi ndio wapi wapi ndio wapi wakapatiwa blueprint ya building vizuri sasa ni ku building flow by flow by flow by flow kila mtu wakimaliza kila mtu so reke wakaingia wale walikuwa naleta resistance wakamaliziwa hapo haraka sana haraka sana we he mzee mzima scarface janjez janjez akaingia pale kwa lift hapa juu kwa elevator hapa kuna kuaga na ka, nini kanaweza funguka akaifungua vizuri akapanda juu akaifunga sasa yeye ako literally on top of the elevator car hapa juu akachukua simu yake akapigia klande akamwambia eh mti yangu bebezi vile naona kukienda leo nashuku nitalala kwa fridge So we mali yangu yote unaijua e, pesa yangu unajua mahali iko tafadhali gawa kidogo hata si kidogo sulu bin sulu 50 50 patia mama hiyo 50 ingine we baki nayo mashamba niko nazo a b c and d patia mama hii wewe baki na hizi zingine like akawapanga sawa sawa why scarface aliamua kupigia klande badala ya kupigia bibi yake ndio bibi agawanyie klande i don't know I hiyo tutaenda tu heaven kabla yeye aende hell tumuulize. Bas na simu ikakatika vizuri akamwambia eh klande wake maze adios muchachos it's been real peace. Na akakata simu. Actually makosa ni yangu hakukata simu. As ako kwa hii process ya kuongea. I don't know how the authorities were able to pick that up or to discover kuna mtu mahali ndani kwa elevator zanaongea na simu reke wakajipanga pale wakaingia wakafinya hiyo nini ikuje mpaka kwa ile floor ambayo wako wakajipanga saa sawa kufanya mambo yao so by the time anaenda kumaliza conversation na Klande the elevator car ilikuwa inashuka chini ikafika mahali kwa ile floor the reke officers walikuwa ping ika ping milango zikajifungua wale majamaa wakaingia na bunduki zao wakaziface pale juu sababu walikuwa wanaona vizuri kuna activity hapa juu na hapo kwa phone call Klande akasikia milio ya risasi ambayo ilikuwa directed to the very person she was speaking to at the time wakampiga risasi nyingi sana e, simu akaangusha akapiga magoti hapo juu na akazima na hapo ndio tulipoteza scarface jambazi sugu sana sababu ya mistake moja kidogo sana ya kukosa kuangalia register Present teacher hiyo ndio iliwatuma. Ah, but si wanasemaga wages za uh, dhambi ni kifo. Eh, sidhani kulikuwa na njia nyingine hii story ilikuwa ishe. No, I don't think so. Na hapo ndio namalizia story yangu. I hope imekubamba. Kama imekubamba kuja na mbogi wapige subscription. Sawa sawa da. Nyinyi ni watu na watambua sana. Adios muchachos. Peace.